Hey everyone, it's Intel here. In this video, I'm going to be buying an entire gaming setup off of Wish.com for under $100 and playing Bedwars with it. So in case you live under a rock, Wish is a website sort of similar to Amazon where you can buy stuff, but with two main differences. The first thing is that almost everything on Wish is super cheap. And the second thing is that usually most of the things on Wish are pretty low quality. I'm gonna be hunting for a mouse, a keyboard, a headset, and a mouse pad to use for Bedwars. And once again, my goal is to keep everything under $100 so we can find an actual budget setup. So is the Wish gaming setup going to be surprisingly decent or complete trash? Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but you're just gonna have to keep on watching to find out. But anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're on Wish.com, and the first thing that we're gonna look for is a gaming mouse. Let's go ahead and search up gaming mouse up here and see what we get. Okay, I'm already seeing something sort of interesting. They're actually selling Razer Death Adders on here for really cheap. This is only $14, and this is the Razer Death Adder Elite. I actually have this mouse. Okay, this is sort of a red flag right here. It's coming in multiple colors that you can buy, but this mouse is chroma. This mouse is RGB. Why would it be being sold in different colors if you can just change the color through the software? Yeah, I'm looking at the reviews too. Uh, 3.9 star reviews all around that. That's not that great. Seems there's a lot of Razer Death Adders, and I don't think buying a Razer Death Adder actually would be bad at all, but I, I, I don't really want to buy one from Wish because, like, everyone has seen a Razer Death Adder. Everyone knows what a Razer Death Adder looks like. It's, it's not an interesting mouse. Okay, this is sort of interesting. It's $7.50 plus people have bought it, so let's see this. This is the Professional Colorful Backlight 4000 DPI Optical Wired Gaming Mouse. Excuse me, Gaming Mouse Mice. <laughs> what? The way this looks like, this sort of looks like the bloody A70. Just like a little bit, can you guys see it? Has four star reviews, it's only $7. And uh, let's see. This seller has a ton of positive reviews, 38,000 reviews. This is probably as close to your standard Wish gaming mouse that you'll get, so I'm gonna head and add this to cart. Okay, the next step, we're gonna look for a gaming keyboard. So this is the first one right here, and this actually looks like what I'd want. The reason why I'm looking at this one instead of the other ones is because this one's a TKL layout and the other ones are full-sized, and I don't really like full-size keyboards. I like TKL, and this is also blue. Uh, what switches does it have? I cannot see at all what switches it has, but I'm gonna guess, just a guess, that it's probably either Otemu blues or reds, because those seem to be the most popular switches among these, like, budget gaming keyboards. But you know what? It's 10 keyless, it's RGB, it's blue. That sounds like a cop. Okay, gaming headphones. See what we got. Okay, this right here is $9. Uh, it doesn't have the best reviews, but uh, this sort of looks like everything that I sort of want in a gaming headset. Specifically, the fact that it has a microphone, because I do actually want to test out the microphone and see how it does. Already some good reviews. People are saying it works for their Xbox. It sounds great. Don't regret ordering a pair. Oh yeah, and these guys have 8,500 total reviews. So this is like your classic Wish headset. I'm going to go ahead and add this to cart. And then finally, Let's go ahead and see if they have any mouse pads. Yo, okay, this mouse pad design I've seen literally everywhere. This is like the most stock OEM mouse pad I've like ever seen. For $7 though, this is actually really, really big for a, a desk pad. And I think that's cheaper than basically anything else that's on here. If this is actually this big for $7, I'm gonna be really surprised. I think I'm gonna go for this. By the way, if you guys want some actual quality desk pads, then check out our desk pads at the Flow Shop. Just got our new designs in on the shop. I don't know how well you can see this. But if you guys want something that's actually quality and is probably a lot better than what's on wish.com, then check out the link down below. Okay, so we have everything in our cart, and the total seems to be $83, which is below our $100 goal. Think about it, this is an entire gaming setup for $80. This mouse right here, this is a Logitech G Pro Super Lite, this is $150. Now, even a better comparison, this mouse pad right here, this is an Artisan Hayati Atsu Wine Red, and it's going for around like $80 shipped. This mouse pad itself is about the same price as the entire gaming setup that we're gonna buy from Rich. Just think about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and place the order and I will be back with you guys when everything arrives. Hey everyone, it's Future Intel here. So there's two quick things I wanna quickly mention before I continue the video. The first thing is I actually ended up getting a different pair of headphones. These headphones looked a lot better and they had a lot better reviews and they still kept us below our $100 budget. And then the second thing, and this was something that I didn't notice throughout the video, but the mouse that they sent me was actually completely different from the mouse that I ordered. I didn't notice this because it had been like two weeks since I ordered everything on Wish. And it's actually something that I noticed while editing, but the mouse that I bought on Wish looks completely different from what I actually got. Anyways, that's all I wanted to mention, so let's go ahead and get back to the video.
we are in game and as you can see I have the entire setup the mouse the keyboard the mouse and this flimsy little mouse pad right here okay so quick spoiler alert nothing in this setup is good they all suck. I mean, I know, I guess that was obvious because they're from Wish, but my expectations were already low, but they still managed to disappoint me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into some Bedwars games. I haven't played Bedwars at all with these products yet, and I'm gonna try to win, and it's gonna be really challenging because uh, I don't think I can win, man. But with that being said, let's go ahead and find a game. Okay, we're on our first game with the Wish gaming setup, and guys... There's just so much wrong with this. I don't even know where to start. Um, let's start in order then, starting with the mouse. And this mouse has to be one of the worst mice I've ever used in my entire life. So first of all, it's extremely heavy. I think it's like 130 grams according to like the product page, which is already like ridiculous for a gaming mouse. And what's really terrible about it is that the clicks will just not register. So let me go ahead and try to take out red team before I talk about this anymore. I just missed my hits. That's embarrassing. Can you like go away please? I'm just trying to... Okay, at least I got that dude's bed, but here's what I mean by the clicks don't register. So like if you're clicking slow, it will work perfectly fine. You see, I, like I'm getting like eight CPS, but if I start like jitter clicking, you can see while I'm jitter clicking, like I don't know if you saw that, my CPS will just randomly like dip down to like six CPS. And I think that's because this mouse just has like an insanely high debounce time or something like that. So like if you're clicking fast and this happens to me in fights, sometimes my, my, my hits will just not register. It's really, really weird. Okay, this guy has sharp, which isn't good, but I do have combos. Yes, I did kill him there. The whole clicks not registering doesn't happen like all the time, but it'll happen sometimes, especially when I'm like really trying to click fast. So like with this mouse, I have to like try and click slower, which is actually really difficult to do. I think I'm gonna go and try to get mid because I don't have a lot of confidence in my PvP abilities. The next thing that sucks about this mouse is that if you turn it too fast, it'll just like completely spin out. So watch this. That's what a spin out looks like and it is really really annoying and it doesn't happen a lot when I PvP but it does happen sometimes. Okay, looks like Aqua is going for my bed. Honestly, I don't really mind. Oh, it looks like someone else actually took them out. That's um... Just a little bit scary. Okay, yellow's coming to me. I'm gonna go ahead and pot speed. There's no point potting jump boost because of like this area is just not a good area to, to place jump boost. Okay, get a few hits, get some combos. Looks like this person's a final. Oh, they actually survived that. Nah, bro, you're not getting away with that. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Okay, one last thing about this mouse. It's honestly fine that it doesn't register clicks because it doesn't need to because this mouse literally auto clicks. So I'm obviously not going to show this off on a high pixel because I'm not trying to get my YouTube rank taken away. But there's a button that's to the left of the left click. And when you hold it down, it will literally auto click for you. Okay, let me go ahead and fight this guy before I explain it anymore. I'm hoping that this guy isn't super sweaty. I uh, actually think I win this game because I am pretty stacked. I have pots and I have more healing. But yeah, this mouse auto clicks like around 11 CPS. Um, it's a little bit broken though, because if you use the auto clicker, you can't right click or else right clicking like stops it. Okay, blue person. Oh, this guy doesn't even know that I'm right here. Let's go ahead and whoo, smack that guy around. Get the bed. Okay, I actually think this was pretty free. I can't see him because he's invis. Um, can you uninvis for me, please? Thank you very much. Get a few hits right there. You're dead. <laughs> we actually won our first game with the mouse. That's sick. Or excuse me, not the mouse, but the entire setup. I'm so used to making these mouse videos that I just said that by default. Okay, we're on our second game here with the Wish setup. I realized my jitter clicking example wasn't really that good, so like butterfly clicking, for example. I probably should have been getting around 14 CPS butterfly clicking like that, but it was only registering like 6 to 7. And then drag clicking as well just like obviously doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it's because this mouse just has like a really, really high debounce time. Make our way over here to blue, and this person has endstone. That really isn't good. Can I take you out? Thank you. I don't know if you guys saw like how badly my mouse like lost track right there. Okay, I gotta kill the U one more time, so please let me do that. Dude, my hits aren't registering. Not my hits, but like my clicks. Okay, I only have 2 HP. Uh, nah. Enough about the mouse, though. Let's talk about the keyboard. And the keyboard is, on my opinion, definitely one of the worst parts of this entire setup. So everything about this keyboard is just, like, super, super basic and cheap. It uses uh, clicky switches that I believe are Otemu Blues. The keycaps are made out of thin ABS plastic, so they're not that special at all. It looks like Gray took out Pink, so they have a chance of going for my base next, so I'm gonna go this way. The stabilizers are, like, really ratchety, like... 
I don't know if you can hear that. Ton of stabilizer rattle, which again is just something that you usually find in like super cheap keyboards. Now this would be perfectly fine if the keyboard itself was like actually usable, but it's not. Some of the keys on this keyboard straight up don't work. Like for example, like the backspace, you can see when I press it, like nothing's happening. Pressing the Y key doesn't work either, so I can't use the Y key. A lot of the keys actually didn't work at first, but I had to push them like really, really hard into the PCB because they weren't socketed into the PCB correctly. And having to press super hard on some keys for like the switches to actually work is really, really annoying. It looks like we have a gray person right here. This guy has a sharp iron, I think. Go ahead and break the bed right here. Another thing that doesn't work is the two key. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. He's destroying me. No, 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 no. Okay. If I try to hotkey to my two slot, like that doesn't work either. Like this keyboard is just an absolute disaster. Not to mention the cable too is like super short. Okay. It looks like it's only me and blue. And the last blue guy is actually right here conveniently enough. Go ahead. Come up. Yo, blue. Hello? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? Gotta wake up, you can't AFK like that, especially when you're the last person in the game. Okay, we're on our third game here on Acropolis. I want to move on and talk about the, the headset, but there's some things I forgot to talk about with the mouse that I want to talk about first. First of all, it's that this mouse, it doesn't really have mouse feet, like... There's just like these strips of like really thin plastic that are used for like the mouse feet. Okay, this green guy is quite annoying. Uh, can you? No. It's really hard to bridge fight because like I can't spam blocks because like if I try, like my, my mouse just won't register the clicks because I'm clicking too fast. Okay, let's go ahead and try to hit you a few times. Nice. The second thing, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but like when I move the mouse around, the pulling rate on this mouse is like really, really low. So like it just, it, it's not smooth at all. The pulling rate is like the refresh rate of your mouse. So like even though I have a 390 hertz monitor that I'm using right now, when I move this mouse, it feels like I'm playing on like 60 FPS. And also with this keyboard, if I'm like speed bridging like really slowly, uh, it's because this keyboard definitely has like input lag and it's throwing me off. Okay, finally onto the headset, which I wanted to talk about. The headset is probably the best part about all of this because like, to be honest, it's sort of hard to like really mess up a headset for gaming where it's like so bad to the point where it's unusable. So like, yeah, they, they don't sound that great, but like you don't need a headset to sound great if you're just like trying to play video games on it. I think the RGB on the headset, like I don't know if you can see it properly, but it actually does look pretty cool. I don't know how the mic sounds like. I haven't tested it yet, so I'll go ahead and do a, a sound test right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that sound test. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but I'm sort of scared. Okay, Blue just died. I was waiting for them to die so I could snag their bed right here. I wanted to like pot up, but like I couldn't because like I I, I can't hotkey because the switches, they don't work. The sound quality of the headset sucks, but like I'm not really an audiophile, so like I can't tell you exactly like how good or bad it is it. For one though, there's like no sound staging at all on this headset and everything else just sort of sounds like low bitrate, just sort of tinny. Um, I don't think this person actually sees me at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and boop you. I think they collected a little bit of emeralds, so I think I'll be able to get that. Oh yeah, give me those four emeralds. I appreciate it. It. Go ahead, throw a fireball at the clay, get this guy's bed right here, and I just gotta hit you a few times with my sharp stone sword, and you are dead. It is only me and gray person. I'm gonna go ahead and track them here. One other thing I noticed about the keyboard, so the keyboard, it's supposed to be RGB, and it does light up different colors, but the colors don't change. So like, for example, like the number row is like yellow and it's only yellow. The QWERTY row is green and it's only green. And then the row below that's only blue. So like, you can't change the lighting. It's just like individual lighting. Okay, let's see. Is this person going to fight me here? It looks like they are. Go ahead, pre-gap. I have speed, so you are not gonna do well at all. Let me two tap you. You more hits right here. And there we go. I didn't even get the kill on them. They got the kill on themselves because they tried fireball jumping. Okay, we're on our last game here on Lotus. Uh, I actually don't really play Lotus that much at all, so this is gonna be really interesting. I realize I haven't really talked that much about the mouse pad at all, and that's because there's like not too, too much to talk about with the mouse pad. I mean, it's, it's pretty standard. It's a pretty average piece of cloth, except for the fact that it's tiny. This desk pad is nowhere near as big as it was shown in the picture where I bought it. Here, let me kill Gray. Oh my, my, my tracking just died. What was that? That wasn't me. That was like the mouse, like the sensor just going all over the place. But I'll show a video right now of uh, this mouse pad on top of a flow pad. And the flow pad is, I'd say like a normal size desk pad, but you can see that the flow pad completely dwarfs this. 
Okay, great. I'm trying to I'm trying to kill you right now. Please don't make this take forever. Let me see. Ooh, I can use this as a head hitter. Okay, nice. This desk pad is so small, in fact, that I have only half of my keyboard on the desk pad, and the other half is just like on the table itself. And that's because otherwise I wouldn't have enough room to use my mouse. Okay, bridging with this keyboard is super painful. Like I feel like there's so much input lag and it's just like really throwing me off. Oh, and that was fun. Blue came all the way over here just to take part of my diamond gen. Okay. Luckily for me, this person doesn't have a bed defense, so I can really easily take out their bed right now. Okay, I see this dude running back. Is he trying to get revenge? What are you doing, Mr. Blue person? Looks like someone else is at my bed. This is annoying! What is this mouse?! I'm not even joking, I was clicking there, but my sword wasn't swinging. Nah, dude, we have to run that back. That was such a lame way to end the game. I have to remember this time that I need to click slower or else my clicks just won't register. Okay, let's go ahead over here. I hope Aqua doesn't try to like bed trade with me because that would be really unfortunate. Let's go ahead and knock them below there and see if I can get a few taps on them. Nice. Please let me get this final without trouble. Okay, nice. No! I thought I had them! Ah, uh, they're building up so high. I don't wanna do this. They're probably gonna keep going up. It's gonna be really, really bad for me. Uh, Jaboop, please fall down. Okay, nice, I actually got them. Yeah, it's either the mouse or the keyboard is the worst part of this setup because for the keys, like some of my hotkeys just like don't even work and this mouse is so hard to use properly. Okay, I'm gonna try and take this opportunity here and go for mid and get myself M's. If you guys remember, like, over a year ago, I made a Skywars video on a $5 mouse, and I think that $5 mouse is even better than this Wish Mouse right here. Oh no, this isn't that good. Green is going over here. Um, okay, I have to fight him. Don't take my M's. Don't take my M's. I would not appreciate it if you took my M's, sir. Okay, I barely won that. That was so stressful. And of course we have a pink person coming over. Okay, I gotta do this fast. I gotta instantly buy um, armor. Pearl, I'm gonna bank the extra two M's. And uh, pink, yo, yo, yo. I hate this on Lotus. This is why I don't play Lotus a lot. Like the fact that you can just like go all the way up here, like it's just so annoying. Okay, looks like they're gonna fireball. Um, I do have a pearl though, so I can hopefully save my bed right here. Please just die. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, this is good. Pink's bed is right there. All I have to do is bridge over here, pot up, and I will be golden. God, this is the most stressful bridge I've ever made in my entire life. This is so bad. I can't hotkey to my two slot, man. What? Nah, that went through him. That literally went through him. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Boop, take the bed. Nice, nice. Stop going for me, pretty please. Uh, he's gonna TNT jump again for the second time. I don't think he made that. Um, that's a little bit awkward. Well, okay, I guess that was it. GG. GG, Pink. Okay, so in conclusion, Wish is an absolute scam. Don't get anything off of Wish. I know that was probably obvious from the start, but like, still, my expectations were already low and this still disappointed me. Two out of the four products that I bought came with a defect. Listen, I know that not a lot of people don't have a lot of money that they can just use to buy mice or keyboards or whatever, but there comes a point where if something is too cheap, it's just better off not buying it than buying it. Even if it takes you an entire year to save up for like a better mouse, don't buy a crappy mouse off of Wish. Just like stick with the whatever office mouse that you have right now. Because I guarantee you, it's not gonna be that much better. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me. And make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed because this video was an absolute pain to record for me. By the way, my ghost cloak, I'm taking off of the store November 24th. So if you do wanna get this, then make sure to get it soon because it's gonna be off of the store and you won't be able to get it again. Anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching this video. It does mean a lot to me. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.